You're just in time to see a very, very exciting run. Appreciate those good luck wishes. Here goes. Defect, Ascension 20. That's right, just start with a toxic egg. It's that simple. Got some really good starting options. Guardian at the end of the act. Okay. Hmm. So, 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 what do we do here? There's three paths that look pretty appealing. Up the left side here, we go through the Burning Elite, and then have eh, a relatively mediocre act. I don't think that looks all that impressive. Ocean Librarian, thanks for 22 months. Good luck to Mr. Roboto. Could go up the middle path here defer the elites till later, but then have to fight two in a row. I don't really like that. Or we can go through an early elite to get to this rest site and the shop behind it. Maybe do three elites, but that's going to be pretty tough with little health here. We are forced into an early elite, which makes me not so encouraged to do... Um, not so encouraged as to do a boss swap. But I could get behind, uh, spend 99 gold on a rare card here. Or because there's an early shop that I'm going into, I could also get behind simply remove a strike. Or take a common relic. Hmm. All of these are pretty good. Torgo, thanks for three months of support. So rare cards that Defect likes to start with. Start with. Core Surge, Hyper Beam... Bias Cognition. I would start with an all-for-one. I would do that. Hmm. I'm thinking we want to go this way. Three combats, two events, and then we get to decide. I don't want to commit to the Burning Elite this early. That's too insane. Although we should, again, pick our bonus first. Is Echo Form a good first floor rare card? No, not really. It's... It's nice, but it's too heavy and too slow for most fights. I'd rather take an Electrodynamics, for sure. Buffer is pretty good as well. Buffer, Electro, Hyper Beam, Core Surge, Seek. That's a lot of good rare cards. And if I get to choose one, I really like that. Okay. Let's choose a rare. Bias Cognition, Meteor Strike, or Machine Learning. I'm going to choose to start with a Bias Cognition. Gain four focus. At the start of our turn, lose one focus. This huge amount of focus gain is going to really help us out in early fights, particularly early elite fights, uh, as well as letting us build orbs pretty consistently. One of my favorite cards, I think one of the most powerful cards on the defect, um, and to have it on floor one is such an enabler. I think I have a certain bias towards this card. I think you might be right. So, with a Bias Cognition, we want to find other orb cards. Ball Lightning, Cold Snap, Cool Headed, Glacier, Tempest, Chill, anything like that. Anything like that. Mom, can we get orange pellets? See, thing is, we might miss orange pellets in this shop. That'd be sad, but it might happen. I do think we want three card awards. We want to find some orb generators. We want to find some money. Yeah, I, th I think this is our best starting line. Commence the zapping. Look at that bonus damage. Kerblam. The cultist is already demised, pretty much. And there's a ball lightning. Seven damage, channel a lightning orb. Perfect. Perfect first card to find. Gives us a huge spike of damage. Already we're starting to think about being able to survive this. If I can find a cold snap or even a, just a decent block card, a charge battery or something. We get a combat out of the second floor. I suppose that's a decent thing. Next turn's going to hurt though. Nothing I can do about that. Take him. Yeah, take always at least... Actually, wait. 
I lied. I can kill you. Really glad I didn't get suckered into playing this defend. Cool. Get a potion, although not the world's best potion, and energy potion has some utility to it. If you want block, we can take a zero cost steam barrier. Or I could take a hello world early on to let us add random common cards to our hand. Something notable about hello world is that it can add frost orbs. Which is quite useful. Although I think here and now I'm probably more happy with the steam barrier. I really like steam barrier. It's just like a free little bit of block. Almost like a slightly inverted charge battery. But yeah, I, I think this is a perfectly takeable Hello World. If we're fighting Slime Boss, I might be more inclined to take it. Hello World against Guardian doesn't feel as important. Take the Steam Barrier. I've got two more card rewards before the first Elite anyway. Um, Hit them each one time, please. 12, 12? Come on. 50 chance. Nice. So I could use the energy potion to save eight. Do I actually want to do that? No. I don't think I do. Yeah, I'm going to would no. Better to keep the potion so that we can use it during an elite fight or some such. Well, actually... Cycles back, huh? Hmm. That's a interesting early pickup. However, this early in a run, quite frankly, I have a lot more personal interest in this card here, a card I think that gets slept on a lot for defect, which is Rebound. Deal nine and put the next card you play back on top of the deck. Rebound your most important card like Ball Lightning, Steam Barrier, Dual Cast, whatever you need. Rebound can really help make it more impactful. I like Recycle later on in runs like this, but it's definitely too early to pick up a Recycle and have it do anything really helpful. Let me grab the Rebound. Aha! Here's where the Energy Potion might come in. Let's see. Defend, Rebound, Rebound, Defend. And I could Energy Potion to also strike and zap if I wanted to. Currently don't have a strong reason to. I'll rebound the Defend. Make sure I have Block next turn. Got pretty low chance to find another Potion here. So I don't currently feel motivated. Could change though. All right, I'll use one here. Uh, maybe didn't need to. Very happy with a go for the eyes. Great with rebound, great for later. Three right now. Definitely don't want a second Hello World. Don't particularly want a leap. Go for the eyes. And remove a strike. So, we didn't exactly get momentously powerful here, but I think we're good enough with the ball lightning, the rebound, and the lightning orb generation that we get to do this. It's Gremlin Knob first. We drew both lightning orbs on turn one. I'd say that's probably pretty good. Although we'd like to see Bias Cognition next turn. Good. So this is 777, seven, seven. next turn 666. Six, six. We can do math to determine whether I need to dual cast or not. Pretty easy here. Not at all a frightening combat. So, we deal 21 this turn. Plus six more from our attack. Three lightning orbs deals 18 next turn. And then our attack steal 21, meaning our total damage is 66, and we're four damage short. Okay, what if I dual cast? We deal 24 plus 14, 
plus 6 from the strike, 21 from the attacks next turn, and 12 from two lightning orbs equals 77. So we'll kill guaranteed next turn if I use the dual cast, which means we get to strike dual cast steam barrier this turn, kill next turn, take very, very little damage this fight. Only four damage, Gremlin Knob. That's really good. That's the power of bias cognition right there. And the power of the rebound. Note how we did need this damage to get the kill. Get a strawberry, meaning we actually gained health from the Gremlin Knob. And more focus in the form of a defragment. Uh, yeah, I'll take that. Currently, we're still operating with only lightning orbs, but for now, this is strong enough. We're going to upgrade, probably defragment at the fire, fight the next elite, and then head to the shop. Really would be nice to have a frost orb, though. Just saying. Sentries could be a little scary. Trust me, we'll have enough focus that it really won't matter that much. And we have enough health, too. How do I decide between upgrading bias and defragment? I look at them as both plus one permanent focus upgrade. However, the defragment is always desirable to play, whereas the bias cog we don't always want to play right away because you do lose one per turn. So I'd rather upgrade the defragment than the bias cog because we get to keep the focus always from the defragment, not necessarily true for the biased. Ultimately, we want them both upgraded. But really, they don't make that much of a difference, truly. Hmm. This is not the opening draw we wanted. Defend, rebound, go for the eyes, and biased. So do I play the biased now? I think I have to. Means we're probably taking some big damage next turn. Maybe use the energy potion for that. But yeah, we're going to play the bias right away. Yeah, thick sentries. It's tough. Could use the go for the eyes to remove your artifact, or we can just put the extra damage on the last sentry. I'm not going to rebound any of these cards. Let's just do the damage to the end one. I don't really care about that artifact. Unfortunate draw order here. Nothing I can do yet. Ah, oh, come on, Defrag. Don't be like that. I will use the energy potion to do two more attacks this turn. We really do need the help that all the help that we can get in this fight. Lightning Orbs really want this one dead, apparently. At least we haven't hit the middle one any amount of times so far. Look at that damage mattering. Get him! All three on the left one? Not so. Not sure if I get to go to that next fight. Alright, a painful elite fight, but not catastrophic. We get through, we get a regal pillow, healing us more if we should rest. A swift potion for bonus card draw. And a Compile Driver or a Go for the Eyes. Hmm. I'm okay if we have to do this path from here. Avoid the, sec the last elite. Kaiser Sojo, thanks for six months. Sending cozy vibes for the streak. Heck yeah. I think Compile is reasonable since I will take a Frost Orb if I see one. Okay, there's also a reprogram here. We're, we're actually a little bit of the way towards making that good. We're going to get a lot more card rewards. I think we'll just skip these. All right, money? Yes, and bronze scales, giving us three thorns, three damage back. That'll happily take here in Act 1. Unfortunately, we didn't get enough money to afford the Dolly's Mirror to duplicate our stuff, but that's okay. I could take a self-repair this early. That's a pretty good self-repair. Could also take another strike remove. 
Totally Mike says, just thought I'd share that I introduced my partner to this game several months ago, and she has now beaten me to A20. Dang. Finally, a Thunderstrike we can take. No, we don't want to take it. It's funny, though. I do like Charge Battery as well. Extra energy on the next turn. Pretty good for our upcoming Guardian boss fight. That is our main concern now, is getting through the Guardian fight. Don't have enough money for card remove self-repair. I could do charge battery self-repair, self-repair card um, alone, or charge battery card removal. Really do like this self-repair. It would let me take a re uh, coffee dripper, for example. Might prevent me from having to rest at this rest site, too. <laughs> Sneko oil and leave. Having pillow doesn't mean that self repair is bad. I'm gonna buy it. Not gonna take the charge battery, nor any other potions. Just gonna take our charge bat or uh, self repair. Well, that's all. Shouldn't be a big deal. Get him. Throw a wrench into our enemy's plans. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, I don't want you to die before I can self-repair, so I'm not going to play the Blast here. I guess you're dying anyway. Good. Get an Entropic Brew, filling the empty potion slots with random potions, and a Meteor Strike, a Capacitor, or a Claw. I think they're all bait. However, I do think that I actually get to fight the elite now because we got an entropic brew and seven health. So I'm going to go for this elite fight. I changed my mind again. But man, a uh, meteor strike? It's funny. What's more important, getting the world record or claw? Asks chat member. <laughs> You know? Two smoke bombs. So what happens if I if I get the world record by heart skipping the heart with a smoke bomb? Would people be upset by that? They might be. I don't think I'm taking this meteor strike, although it could be everything we need. There's this Neko eye coming up. I think Meteor Strike is a very breakable card for this character. Currently, we don't have a lot of room for junk in the deck, though. I'm not going to take it. Okay, no loss. Dos. Zap or Defrag, not both. Good. It's a pretty good turn to wake up, actually. Ball Lightning Strike, Strike with this in the draw pile. Seems reasonable. Okay. Definitely not the ideal waken turn, but, you know, there's some advantage to it. Let's go Steam Barrier, then Zap. Do I defend, defend, or do I draw Potion? I think I draw, defend, and then draw potion. Could also draw potion next turn. Less damage dealt. Sender's Bane doesn't go away right away. I'm gonna do it now. And then we could drink this if we need to. I'm gonna do it. Let's just see what's inside it. Wow, okay. Those are really good potions. However, not a whole lot of blocking occurring. I 
let's see, if I were to, let's say hypothetically, Bias Cognition, Ball Lightning Zap, Darkness Potion. I would deal uh, 14 times 5, plus 7. Let me guess, that's 77. Son of a... Ah. <laughs> uh. Hmm. What if Dark Before Lightning? Let's see, these evoke for plus five. So we will get one more damage by going Dark first. You're right, you're right. So it's Bias Cognition, Essence of Darkness, Zap Ball Lightning. Hold on, let's see what that does. That would be 14 times three, plus seven from the attack, six from the Dark Orb Evoking, six from this Dark Orb Evoking. And then at the end of the turn, we deal nine times two, plus 18. That would be 79 damage. Yes. So, we don't use the liquid memories. All we have to do is change the order here. And the, the key, key behind this working is that the dark orbs evoke for six, whereas the lightning orbs evoke for five more than their passive. So it's actually better to evoke a dark orb, even if only for six damage, than it is to evoke a lightning orb. Cool. We get a data disc, an additional one point of focus for our run, and a beam cell, FTL, or hologram. Going into Guardian, that's going to be a hologram for me, please. This is one of my favorite defect cards, letting us get a card out of the discard pile. Please, game, just one, one Frost Orb is all I ask. It's going to give me two or three. Frost Orbs instead. We get another combat, so that's another card reward, another chance at the legendary Cold Snap card. Beep. Wait. No, I did heal for seven anyway. No, not worth it. These don't say frost on them either. However, there's another hologram. There's a force field with three powers already. Force field's actually pretty decent. Or darkness. Channel a dark orb. I'm actually rather intrigued by force field. Especially with hologram and rebound already in the deck and three powers already in the deck. Getting this down to free would be not only pretty easy, Rostogram. I think the darkness could be okay as well. I grab the force field. All right, last chance at frost or another power. Either is fine, really. Just do it. plus 9. 30, 21. Easy. Do I want to rebound any of this? I don't think so. Could rebound the steam barrier, but it's barely going to block at all. Not sufficiently cool with that. I think we just take one. Thought lightning orbs do the rest here. This will deal 12 times 2, so strike, then dual cast is guaranteed to kill them both, which means we can self repair. Might as well ball lightning, dual cast. Deal 7, get money, get a frost orb. That's not a frost orb! Dang it. Not the world's worst time for a turbo, but definitely not the world's best time. Hmm. 
So the question is, what do we upgrade prior to Guardian? I think with 35 health, we should be fine. 35 health and a Liquid Memories. We should be fine to upgrade a card here. Either a Hologram or the Bias Cognition. Question is, how early do I play Bias Cognition against the Guardian? Our Lightning Orbs are our main source of damage in this fight, so I really can't afford to play it initially. I think that means I'd rather upgrade the Hologram. R09, thanks for 19 months of support. Don't really want to take more skills. No recursion, no double energy or turbo for me. Let's just upgrade our hologram and see if we can beat Guardian like this. I think we can. Although that's a really bad turn one. Oof. Force field blocks 12. Read that hologram even better. 15 plus 8. It's not enough. So we'll definitely take some damage here. This is definitely concerning. So I don't Liquid Memories Force Field. Force Field's nice, but it's not my best Liquid Memories line. Liquid Memories on the Hologram is better. We rebound the Hologram. Use the Hologram this turn to get back. Go for the eyes to block better. And then we can also play the attack stuff. Just hologram Zap. Next turn, Defrag, Defend, Defend is good. Don't play biased yet. And we do 18 damage per turn plus the thorns. That's pretty good. We just need to not brick on block draws. Good. Very good. Next turn could be spooky. Good luck to us. Uh, I could have done... T I don't know why I did that. That was hologram plus force field. It seems to be okay, though. Alright, can I do 50 damage this turn? Because that'd be really, really nice if I could. I think I can. We go bias cog, dual cast, ball lightning. We deal 15 by 2 plus 10 by 3. Yeah, that'll be plenty. And we get to keep all three lightning orbs. Otherwise, we have to try to block this turn, and that's really not going to go very well. But we're doing so much damage with the Lightning Orbs that the fight will very shortly end. Just need to make sure it stays that way. Do I bother rebounding? No, I'm just going to let the damage happen here. Take four, deal three, not worth it. Okay, that's good. We live. For now. Shame we had to use our liquid memories there, but second biased or a seek both presented here. Or a creative AI, I suppose, but I think I'd rather take second biased over that. So this deck could get really strong really fast. It's all going to depend on what the rewards we see from here on out are. Are we really still missing that Frost Orb? Tough choice between Seek and Biased. Currently, we don't even have enough Lightning Orbs to make Second Biased like, particularly good. I do like it for the Force Field, though. 
Yeah, I, I agree, Merle. The boss relic that we see is going to make things pretty dependent. I'm wondering if we take a Seek for better consistency. Seek, nice with rebound, nice with a lot of stuff. Helps us get damage or block early in fights where that matters. Really good target for a bottle of lightning. Lots of good reasons to take a Seek. Let's take a Seek. All right, and we're hoping for some decent boss options here. Oof. Cringe energy indeed. All right, Curse Key. It's not going to be Crown Erecto. Yeah, I couldn't have it be too easy, I suppose. I'm just glad I didn't choose the boss swap on this seed. Skip. No, I think it's a curse key over skipping, probably. But I don't like it. I do not like it. Okay, the good news is we have an early shop. Possibly multiple early shops. I'm looking at this right now. And then we can decide from there how many elites, fires, what have you to go through. It looks like a really good Act 2 layout overall. But right now, shop is important for two reasons. One, we're looking for ways to keep the focus from bias cognition. Two, we're looking for frost orbs. Three, we're looking for strike removes. Now, we can't get all of those things at the same time. Bronze Automaton is the boss. But we can set up some nice stuff. What was a good energy relic then? Um, Sneko Eye, maybe? Coffee Dripper would have been pretty good. Yeah, with the self-repair Coffee Dripper. Uh, what would I like to seek here? I could seek Go for the Eyes and rebound it, or I can... And then we take six. Or I can do... I could seek a Power Plate in the Force Field, take a bit more than six. I could seek Hologram, block for 20, take one, but then I'd make no real progress in the fight. But I picked Frozen Core. Actually, yeah, I would have. This would have been a, a situation where Frozen Core would be better than a an Energy Relic. And Runic Pyramid would have been my preferred. Runic Pyramid or Pandora's Box or Snack OI would have been my preferred options. However, four energy through Act 2 is workable in many situations. Rebounding Go for the Eyes is fine, not amazing. I'll do it. She only take five, not six. I'm gonna hemorrhage health in this fight, though. Barring something truly beautiful happening. help. You have to stop. Thank goodness we have a self-repair. Let's just say that. Do you get a potion? And we... Do you get a frost orb? Maybe? It's like a frost orb if you squint hard enough. Ah. Hmm, heat sinks. Heat sinks could be good. Seek not on sale though. It's one more guaranteed combat. So ah. let's see. Two forty-seven minus seventy-six. One hundred and seventy-one. Okay. 
so I can, if I wish, buy heat sinks, go to the next shop. Don't think I ever take blood vial here. Toolbox is tempting, but with another shop available soon. I don't think I should necessarily spend money there. But I do like that heat sinks, giving us one draw for every power played, maybe two draw if upgraded. That's important. Let's do that. Take this fight and go to the next shop. Heat sinks in play now? Yes. Cool, I can play force field twice. Force field, hologram, force field, rebound at the end. Don't need to get it back into my hand, though. Guess I could rebound the force field. Force field, hologram, rebound, force field. Frost orb. Power. All right, we gained health from that encounter, and we found a Frost Orb! Cold Snap, welcome to the deck. Deal six damage, channel of frost. Get in here. We did it, chat. We frosted. And? Oh, we ever, did we ever frost? Cool Headed is here. Capacitor looking better than ever. This is starting to come together, Twitch chat. I knew this deck could, could turn around on a dime, and I'm glad it did. Oh, good lord. Always a sucker for an upgraded fission. Cool-headed fission could be pretty good here. I don't think we quite have enough orb gen yet. And I'm not really able to upgrade that fission either, quite frankly. But... Yeah. Currently, I'm thinking the following path. Don't fight this elite yet, but do fight these two. Skip this chest. I've got two good potions, so I don't feel compelled to spend money on that. Definitely going to go cool-headed and remove a strike. That is always happening. I wonder if I ever buy a Discovery here. I can't afford it, right? No, I can't buy Capacitor or Discovery. So I think I just hold on to the money. Yeah, I'd be five gold short of getting Capacitor if only we'd already had the Ceramic Fish. And I could take an event or another combat. With two potions, I don't feel deeply compelled to take another combat. We're going to upgrade twice before the elite. Upgrading Bias Cognition and Chaos. Chaos, very important. Could also upgrade Heat Sinks for more draw. Especially with the Power Potion. I think that's pretty good. But I think our best upgrades right now, Chaos Seek, Heat Sinks, Bias Cog. Those four. Take an event. It's a fight. It's a fight against two nerds. Hmm. It's a pretty sad fight against two nerds. Ever consideration to, to buy something to avoid finding Cleric? Cleric would have been nice, because we could buy another card removed from him. I'd actually be very happy to see Cleric in a question mark room. We could use our potion here, or I could simply take seven. 
Potion chance is very, very low. I think I'd rather just take the damage. I'm not gonna rebound the steam barrier either. I'm just gonna go triple block, bonk the knight. Generally advocate for hitting the knight first, whenever possible. Just gotta keep the pressure on so that the mystic has to keep healing. Beautiful. Get him. Hey! Wrong person. You can't do that. Please don't tell me I'm gonna run out of damage in this fight. Please no. Stop! You have to die. Thank you. Lord, that was tough. Capacitor, but this time it's free. Or another Chaos unupgraded. I'm going to take the Capacitor. For two orb slots. I'm going to upgrade Chaos. For two random orbs. And we're not going to fight this elite, like we said. We're going to go around. Fight the Red Mask Gang instead. Could give them all of our money, but I'd rather pick a fight with these nerds. Although these nerds are pretty tough. And get the uh, red mask, which will make all enemies weak on turn one. I could consider using a potion here. This would be a good time to seek for heat sinks, huh? Let's start by seeking for heat sinks. Or we could get a different orb type in play. Seek for chaos plus is the other good option. But I'm going to see Keat Zinx. Cold Snap, perfect. Steam Barrier, Defend, Cold Snap. I think we want to go for Romeo first. This Romeo will make us weak next turn. Now they're all going to be attacking every turn from here on out, so we need to make this quick from here. Especially with minus four dexterity, which is not what we have right now. So I think... We may wish to use a potion. Power potion draws one and makes force field cheaper. Let's me rebound something. Or the skill potion does who knows what. I'll take the power. Capacitor defrag or hello world. Let's go with the defrag. Draw one. Just a block. Not very good. Now I'll rebound the force field, which blocks for eight. It's not too bad. We're definitely taking some damage this turn. Next turn, not looking great either, mind you. Still too many powers in the, in the draw pile. We could use the second potion. I think that's suicidal to try to do. Can always re rest with our regal pillow next floor. Seems really likely. We want another zap rather than dual casting, although dual casting is reasonable here. We just need the more total damage. Can't trust the lightning orbs to go to the correct place, so we take 22 that turn. What about this turn? This turn looks spooky. But we've got bias cog, defrag, self repair, and force field. This should be fine. Each of these draws one. Oh, and hologram. Beautiful. Although, if I can't kill Romeo, how's this going to work? Surely I can kill somebody, right? 
Could also look, uh, hologram uh, the cold snap and get a lot more block here. Let's do some quick math. 32, 44. So yes, I always survive if I hologram the cold snap. But then I don't get to play self-repair. Can't hologram chaos because we've never drawn it in the first place. I snap on front guy, then both have 11 health. No, we're weak. That's wrong. Could hologram ball lightning. Four lightning orbs problem. We could strike three times here, one time here, and then everything is really bad. Cool-headed chaos next turn will be fine either way. I think we self-repair then. Self-repair cool-headed rather than hologramming the force field. Nice. Oh, nice. Okay, we're fine. Good job, lightning orbs. You did it. You did it. With a red mask, applying one weak to all enemies on turn one, a second potion, and reprogram plus, stack plus, or sunder plus. I think this deck wants a Sunder. Currently, we don't have any multi-enemy solutions. So why don't I take Sunder, rest here, and then we can fight this elite, feeling a lot more confident. We'll have tons of health. Basically full health. We're going to skip this, so no curse. And then we can blap. Glacier plus when. Heal for 23 plus 15, so basically back to full. Minus two. The medium-sized chest, there could be any rarity of relic in here, but I'm not willing to take a curse right now. I want to fight the Book of Stabbing with all of this health. Double lightning, actually really good. That'll be consistent damage output against an opponent for whom we need it. Very good turn one draw overall. Eh. Heat sinks, ball lightning, cold snap, defend. Take a bit here. This is a reasonable time for a skill potion. Let's use the skill potion. Chaos, recursion, or consume. Could do cold snap, then ball lightning. Can't make the recursion do much. Let's just take a chaos. Make chaos take the world. Frost in front? What do we want to be able to dual cast? Frost. Rock is nice as well. Oof. Defend, defend, zap, strike? Could also go defend Sunder. That doesn't feel worth it. We want, with a dual cast of the draw pile, we want this Dark Orb in the front slot. Let's do this. Take a bit more here. Could have speed potion for a bit more health there. Ultimately chose not to. No sign of dual cast. That's okay. Guess we'll just have to cool headed. Let's do 24. We're very close to winning anyhow, so just need to full block this turn. Capacitor draws cards. That's the other option. Hmm. I don't need that, though. 11 pi times 2. I can just dual cast hologram, dual cast if we win, but I want to self-repair. So we actually want to full block so that I can win with self-repair. So let us get block cards instead. 
Best block card is defend. Hmm. No, it's hologram, steam barrier, rebound, steam barrier, capacitor, steam barrier. There we go. That's the line. Bottled tornado. Choose a power card to start with in our opening hand. Heat sinks. Second hologram. The Baylor special. Yeah, I've been considering whether to upgrade heat sinks or not. I think now is the time. We take the heat sinks, we bottle it, we upgrade it. I don't want to bottle a bias cognition without a clockwork souvenir. I don't want to bottle capacitor or defrag or anything like that. So let's bottle the heat sinks, grab another hologram, and then upgrade the heat sinks. Okay. I think I want to take another fight before a potential elite, although this could be like Colosseum or something. Hmm. Another combat just for more card rewards looks pretty reasonable, too. Question mark could be a fight. We see a shrine last. What was the last event? Red Mask Gang, wasn't it? Let's see what it is. It's bites. Remove all strikes, gain bites. I'll say no. Oh, we should have taken the fight. We get a Gremlin Leader. Attacking us on turn one, which already makes me very happy. Generally speaking, if Gremlin Leader attacks you on turn one, you're in for a good fight. It's a, usually you get to block the, the turn one attack, no problem, and then it's essentially like the Grim Leader wasted their turn. I like to see. Hmm. Gonna rebound the cold snap. Attacked again, how cruel, how unkind. How could you do this to me, Gremlin Leader? I mean, literally, how? Let's see, 24 plus 10, currently blocking 21 plus 12. Sounds like enough. Perfect. Keep up the pressure here, one way or the other. Dual cast will kill both minions. Fun fact, Dark Orbs always target the enemy with the lowest HP. Just give me more orbs. Chaos is like a glacier, as you can see. Die. Thank you. Okay, that went well. We get a prayer wheel, giving us extra card rewards from regular enemies. Not to be helpful until next act. Oh, and an echo form. There's also that. 
All right, let's go to another shop, shall we? Defragment again is here. Mummified hand that I can't afford. No! Tragedy. That's okay. There's many other good things here, like maybe the Ori or just defragment card remove. Is pretty good, too. Lantern to go with our turn one heat sinks could be pretty nice as well. Potato Man 3K, thank you so much for the Prime sub. Welcome to the Cozy Sub Club. Panic Button, indeed, also not bad. Though I'm particularly liking just Defragment card remove. I think that's what I'm going to do. Just keep buying Focus Powers for now. Upgrade that Defragment. <laughs> Might lose the Echo Form in this fight. That's okay. Snap, hologram, cold snap. So, they're going to steal my rare cards. The biased echo form and seek. So, I could try to full block. I can also just donk one of the orbs here for decent damage. Can't quite rebound Sunder, though. It's actually a full block if I Steam Barrier, so yeah, let's just bonk one with Sunder. We could use the Power Potion here. I don't currently feel like we need to do that. Okay, that one took Echo Form. That's going to be pretty difficult to get back, actually. Hmm. Hmm. How rude, indeed. Not gonna play biased yet. Chaos has definitely lived up to its name, that's true. I'm sundered. That seems wise. Yeah, I think we're going to be okay. Plus eight, thirty-two. Got plenty. All right, now we can play biased? Question mark. You know, I'm actually not sure I'm allowed to. Hmm. I think we're okay. Still, take this fight nice and slow. Sorry, Echo Form. Twasn't to be your day. Let's just get this into the front. The other orbs. Here we go. Take a little bit more, but we're doing so much damage at this point, we should win pretty quick. GG. All right, we've made it past the Act 2 boss. We're offered a second Echo Form. Multicaster Meteor Strike. 
This sure feels like a double echo sort of deck to me. Although we'd really like an energy generating card like a turbo. More powers is going to be more better. Some argument maybe for Meteor Strike, try to make it playable. Either case, I'd be very happy with a Sneko Eye or a Pyramid or anything in between. Give me the Echo Form. And... Calling Bell, Dome, or Sacred Bark. Interesting. Hmm. Feels like a good deck for five energy, is how I feel. Deck desperately wants more energy. If we can get all this stuff played, we're going to be making so much block, we'll barely care what the enemy is doing. Sacred Bark could be nice against Awakened One, who is currently quite spooky. Time to wear the blindfold of stress. That's right. We have to take a curse for the blue key. That's a bit of a problem. The extra relics could be good. I'm going to do it. I think we want the extra energy here. Sure hurts to not be able to see what the enemies are doing, but... Oh well. So we have to go here. I'd like some more events along the way rather than less events. How do I feel about that? Not sure. Actually, we have Prayer Wheel. I want more combats along the way. Prayer Wheel. Maybe this? Or Optionality. Hmm. And then we can maybe go to a shop if we feel truly desperate. With Renan asks, what cards am I hoping to find here? Turbo. Aggregate. More cool headeds, more glaciers, electrodynamics, skim, core surge. Just to name a few. All right, let's take more combats. First up, this orb walker. Texas nerd. Take a cool headed. Get another power. Not the echo form. Oh yeah, echo form being able to duplicate self repair also like huge. By the way. Perfection. Don't need to play this. Max damage is twelve this turn. Stinky burns. Hello, cool headed. I just play this. Hello, they go for the eyes. Keep them weak. Probably the cool-headed over a genetic algorithm. Yeah, I think I'll just take the cool-headed. As much as an upgraded genetic algorithm is pretty sweet with Echo Form. It'd be too much of a pain in the butt to level up. And I would like Frost. Okay, let's do that. And I'll skip this. Could take another Cold Snap. I don't want that, though. Ooh, double Exploders. That's an actual problem. Turn one has been weak consistently. May need to use the Power Potion next turn. We'll see what this looks like. So they each attack for 11 on their first two turns, and then they explode on turn three, which is a real problem. Headed rebound hologram, yeah. Take a little bit. 
it this turn. Need the hologram be able to kill this one. Seek for Sunder, kill the other one. And then just hologram self-repair, play that. So far, these echo forms haven't really done a lot, but trust me, they're they're just getting started. Juice. Five max health. Love it. Another heat sinks. Not sure about that. Another capacitor. Also not sure about that. Who's our first boss? Donudeka. Hmm. There's the energy generating card I did ask for. Maybe that's what I want. Compiler is also okay. So as far as upgrades go, we're going to upgrade... Let's see, I think I'd like to go to this shop now that I remember that we're getting a curse here, huh? I do something like this. Not a lot of relics this act. Can maybe go here instead of here. Upgrades are most important, though, for the end. We'll take the double energy over the second unupgraded capacitor, but mm, that one's close. Scary fight. I have a stinky potion. This is two extra draw on turn one. I'll do it. It's a very scary fight that can go really, really badly for you, but this deck of all decks is well equipped. Just ball lightning, hologram ball lightning, maybe? Get the self repair down. Perfect. Seek double energy goes to four. Not worth it. Just seek for the powerful attack stuff. Seek the biased. Chaos. That's gotta be worth it. Yes, good. Take the damage, turn one, just get in there. Found anything specific here. Alright, rebound zap, I can do quite a lot of damage. Let's do it. Okay, you're super dead. You're blocked. Live on one die. Alright, we got a gambling chip, letting us discard any number of cards on turn one to gain that many again. We're also offered a reinforced body. Gambling chip, definitely a big survival up. Came at the cost of some of our health and our potion, but the self-repair can fix that. Do I want the reinforce? That's the question. Reinforce is pretty good with five energy. Yeah, let's take it. Yeah, it's going to be pretty hard to get bad turn ones now that we have Gambling Chip. Not impossible, mind you, just difficult. None of them should attack me turn one. The question is, will they? Ow. They did. Goes us to four energy, I'll do it. One goes to two, goes to four. This gets doubled as well. Let's 
seek for go for the eyes, so I can do go for the eyes sunder. Cool headed here, chaos here, cold snap, it turns over. Now we just need to double the self-repair. Build our own rank pyramid with equilibrium. Yes. Turbo plus versus cool headed plus. Take a turbo plus. Excellent cards. Transient. You could be a big problem for me. Let's find out how big of a problem you are. Looks like not at all. Uh, seek for what here? The hologram? Got hologram. Hologram turbo, then double energy. Seek for a power? Sure. I'd like to dupe the other defrag. Transient does 40 down to 30 on turn one, 40, 50, 60, blah, 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 blah. So this is not enough to full block as of right now. I should probably get ball lightning instead. Make sure we're actually doing enough damage to force Transient not to hurt me. All right, first card gets duped. Let's dupe self-repair. Turbo, Rebound, Turbo, Echo Form, number two, Turbo, Chaos, Sunder. That's why we took the Rebound. And now we can double Biased. And double Deep Rag. got to do about 100 damage to Transient each turn to make sure Transient can't do any harm at all. Back to full, almost. There's Self-Repair or Creative AI. Glacier. Take a Glacier. Ping of Ding, thank you so much for the very generous 10 gifted subs. Welcome to the Cozy Sub Club, everybody. All right, before we jump into what might be our super-powered Reptomancer Burning Elite, I am going to take a quick break, refill the legs, use the bathroom when I return. We'll go again. I think Creative AI is a little too slow. Yes. Yes, I do. Though it does have some utility. I don't know. I'm a little worried about Awaken 1, maybe. I guess I could not play it against Awaken 1. Okay. Now, I'm not sure that we need this creative AI. I think we have, because as long as we get double echo form in play, we're going to be fine in any longer combat. Prior to this streak, Armor of God, my record was 11 in a row. So this has been a huge improvement over my previous best. Huge improvement. All right, I'm skipping. It's time to get this. 
upgrade Seek. We'll figure out the rest from there. All right, our Burning Elite is... Regenerating Nemesis. That's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. Let's keep this force field. Let's lose the self-repair. Seek Echo Form? Hmm. This is tough when I can't see what the opponent's doing. I think, yeah, Seek Echo Form. Does Nemesis attack first turn? They can, but only for up to 21. Alright, let's play the Defend. Maybe I wanted to get Frost in play. Could have just done Echo Form Glacier, no heat sinks. Didn't get attack though, nice. If the ice is glowing, that means we're gonna get attacked. Bizarre. Beautiful. We found the reinforced? On the go for the eyes. Deeply unclear here. I don't even have to rebound. I don't want to. Three six would be plenty. All right, I'll do it. Point for the times three. It's fine. to be doing damage. Good. Big hit means we can't get attacked for 45 on this turn, so I can double the echo form. Not sure about the next, though. i have to keep some frost. Eh. Go double ball lightning. Double rebound, put the reinforced on top. So I can always reinforce this turn if I need to. Not glowing, so we're not getting attacked. The fun little tip about go for the eyes. With Runic Dome, go for the eyes will glow with a yellow aura if enemy any enemy is attacking. So I got a little bit of a cheaty preview there. We still get pellets? We can. Yeah, I'm hoping we do. Really hoping we do. Turbo is still in the draw pile. You got it. get a boat thingy, as well as our emerald key, a potion of capacity, and aggregate or chill. I said I wanted an aggregate. I want an aggregate. Gain an energy for every four cards in the draw pile. And upgrade seek. All right, we're going to head along this path. I'd like to... Get the blue key from the chest, which we have to do, and then I'd like to remove the curse at the shop, ideally, unless it's not too bad, in which case we don't have to. How stressful is this? Yes. My answer is yes. All right, let's kill one with eight energy here. We can go Sunder, Hologram, Sunder. Get some of that energy back. Seek for what? Aggregate echo form? Let's do it. Nice 
try nerds. going well. okay with a white noise. I didn't take creative AI. I actually think we do need more damage. And a ball lightning plus could actually help with that. We're we're able to get tons and tons of frost, um, but I'm actually a little bit unable to d deliberately generate damage. So I'm thinking ball lightning plus might actually be the right card here. Yeah, blizzard would have been nice. Ball lightning does it though. This benefits from our focus, does decent damage up front. I'm taking it. About the compiled river plus for more card draw. I've got chaos. Yeah. Gotta open this. Get a pain. That's why we went this way. And the sapphire key. So I'll have to get through one guaranteed combat. Avoid the elite. I'm not fighting a Reptomancer with a pain in my deck. But I will fight a boss from Act 1 with a pain in my deck. Let's do it. Ah! Right, I'll take some damage, but only some. Ten energy, ten energy. We didn't self-repair yet. Rare Relic is a fossilized helix, preventing the first instance of damage each combat. Uh, we've already got Anchor to protect that. We could further take it boot sequence here. Good thing we're getting rid of this pain quickly. Otherwise, yeah, pain helix, not exactly good. Fossilized buffer. No, not that one. This one. I'll leave that on the ground. I'm going to recall here so I can upgrade at the last fire. We've got all three keys. Let's go to the shop. Just have to get through these nerds. Surely that won't be a problem, right, Twitch chat?
Bonk. Bonk again. Die. Plus, take one more upgraded hollow. All right, penultimate shop. Any orange pellets in chat? No. There is instead the medical kit letting us play unplayable status cards. Dark shackles less useful than normal. What about just an ancient potion though? That's a way to keep the buff from bias cognition. There's also a focus potion, although quite frankly, the uh, potion of capacity might be better. Definitely going to remove our pain curse. That's always happening. So we could buy a relic or we can buy ancient potion. And I think ancient potion is probably best. I also think that we're probably better off taking a combat over an event. We've already seen the two really good events of Act 3, the ones that both give you a random rare relic. So I'm thinking Ancient Potion. That's going to block the self-debuff of Bias Cog during the heart fight. As well as... And we get to upgrade the Bias Cog and the Capacitor as our final two upgrades. Would I take a Core Surge if offered? Yeah, I would still take a, a permanent source of artifact, definitely. Definitely. I think having more potion options in the final shop might be worth it. That are more card options. Means we can't get pellets. I'm okay with that, though. I'm, I, I'm going to take the guaranteed method and be very happy with it. So, final card award with two. Yeah, with two card awards, we'll take one more combat. This one. Debuff me on turn one. Every other turn, they attack plus the debuff. Pretty nasty. Twenty-five buffers gone. Let's go. Turbo, double energy, echo form. Rebound, cool-headed, more orb slots, cool-headed again, chaos, that's a lot of frost. Should be a full block. Are they attacking? Everyone's favorite game show. Cool-headed plus. One more cool-headed plus. Okay, we're going to discard Potion of Capacity so that we can pick up Potion of Capacity. 40-card special. I mean, when you've got mostly upgraded cards, the 40-card special is pretty good. Loadstar81, thanks for three years with no regrets. Let's upgrade the capacitor first, because I won't be playing biased against Awaken One. Got all three keys. Our first boss, Donut and Deckard. Good luck to them. Even with the Runic Dome, there's no randomness to the attack pattern here. 
They have a base attack value of 12 times 2, and then Donu's going to constantly provide additional strength to them. Deck attacks on turn 1 for 12 by 2, then 15 by 2 from Dona, 15 by 2 from Decca, 18 by 2, 18 by 2, 21 by 2, 21 by 2, so on and so forth. Very happy getting one of the Echo Forms in play. I'll play the Cool Headed, lose the buffer, and be set up for next turn, more or less. Take zero here. So, 30 is the number to block for. And it looks like we're well set up already. Double defrag. Draw me some cards. Draw me some more cards. Actually, rebound the turbo. And draw me some more cards. Perfect. Turbo, double energy, seek for echo form. Do I want to double the capacitor? Yes, give me the equilibrium. So we're full blocking this turn, easy peasy. Hologram lets me get what? Card draw, or I can get rid of these stupid voids. I can also get equilibrium back. Let's do that. Build your own runic pyramid. First of all, how dare you? If they have blocked, deck is attacking. That's the rule of thumb. We are retaining, so this is fine. I'm gonna get back my ball lightning, though. I need it. That, my friends, is a lot of orbs. More frost! Heck yeah. This is why I wanted the ball lightning, because we if we get too many frost orbs, we can't do damage. That's not great. Gotta be able to do damage. Or what's the point? This is where creative AI would be feeling pretty good, though. If I had more powers that I could play each turn, I don't know. Thankfully, we have bronze scales to help out against the heart, specifically. Okay, one boss down. Next one is the Time Eater, so we don't have to worry about Awakened One punishing us for playing too many powers, thank goodness. Let's try to echo form that deep rag. Pocus, Pocus. Fair enough. I'm sorry, double echo form. 
It's not your day. Play single defrag. Okay, I'll play this one. You're not even attacking me? That's worrisome. Should have known that too. Okay, we'll take some damage here. That's fine. Hologram Glacier seems like my best option. Yeah. Basically into the safe zone here. Here, why don't you be weak forever? Actually, if I just seek for equilibrium defrag, I set this up here and see. And I think we're done here. Just gotta play... Self-repair twice. So we generate 63 block per turn, and that's more... more block than the Time Eater can do damage, even with their most damaging attack. As long as I play no additional cards, the Time Eater is unable to gain additional strength, and we automatically do 20 damage per turn, plus whatever the Bronze Scales contribute, which means all I have to do here is end turn over and over again, and the Time Eater can't do a dang thing about that. The skill strategy. I don't think even with the weaken, yeah, it would have been sixty damage, that's fine. Yeah, nice little mental break before we go into the final act of run number 18 of this absurd wind strike. Strike. Wind strike. That's right, Time Eater only heals one time, and that's already happened, so this fight's over. GG, Time Eater. Gee. Full health, too. Okay, we go into Act 4 with full HP. Two thump, two thump, two thump. A deep pulsing dread can be felt throughout the room. Is this the heart of the spire, the source of this glorious successful defect run? One can only hope. Deal 1963, a good year. And proceed on to Act 4. We'll be upgrading our Bias Cognition as the final upgrade, although upgrade to Double Energy or Aggregate admittedly could be pretty good too. I think we're going to need that one point of focus more than anything. And Membership Card was in the final store. No use for us here, unfortunately. We simply be on our merry way, or we replace a potion. Not much else to do here. I guess I could maybe take over the eyes for the final fights, but I really don't think it's going to help that much. Draw a potion for the elites could be nice. Maybe, maybe say that I don't need this potion of capacity. I'd much rather have the swift potion so that I can get more energy so that I can win. That seems pretty important. 
Let's do that. Definitely keeping this ancient potion, though. Let's do this, Twitch chat. Let's do this. Final battles. Here we go. Can we make it happen? Firstly, the nerds love this turn one here. Heat sinks, bias cog, chaos, cool headed. Let's just discard the hologram, keep all the rest of this. Happy to play bias cognition turn one of this fight. I expect this fight to last five turns or fewer if we do it correctly. Question is do I swift potion now? I think I go heat sinks biased first. Or maybe cool headed first? That lets me look at more cards. It's cool headed first. Heat sinks defrag bias. Looking good, looking good. There's aggregate. Eight energy. Let's go. That's looking like a pretty good swift potion to me. I mean, sure, we get a lot done this turn, but we have a lot of energy still. I'm doing what? Chaos Snap, Cold Snap, Sunder? That's pretty decent. Hmm. Maybe I don't even need to use a swift potion. We're not guaranteed a new potion. I guess I might as well spend my energy here, meaningfully. No Echo Form turn one is a little hurtful, but getting all the orbs down is great. Okay. Zap. Chaos. Plasma and lightning, huh? Hmm. Put the damage here? I don't think we can. Uh, we can put the Sunder here and then Cold Snap to here, though. That'll do. So save buffer for the next turn. Great that we got attacked on turn one. And then this is pretty mediocre. Let's go rebound the cool headed. Draw two. Good enough. Play Echo Form, use the Defend as a buffer. Use the buffer, rather, with the Defend, or I can go Equilibrium. We're being attacked for 44 here. I'm gonna play this. Since that was never attacking, use the buffer here. Echo Form's live on this turn. I can double Echo Form. I can double Seek, and I can double the third card. Or I can double ball lightning seek. I think we got to keep the potions to chat. That's exciting. I want what? Turbo capacitor? That'll be enough. Let's double ball lightning. Seek. Capacitor turbo. Hologram. Go for the eyes. Let's go turbo. Can I shuffle the deck? Hologram turbo. I think I can. Yeah, I can. So I can hologram aggregate if I want to here? No, I should hologram equilibrium. And then this is essentially an off turn. Wait. 
this is a nasty turn. Uh, this turn looks mean. The shield is attacking me for lots, and the spear is attacking me for also lots. So I think I might have to use the Swift Potion here, or avoid, or lose a lot of health. I guess we can double Chaos first and see what we get. Let's see what we get first. Not a lot of use. Okay, we'll Swift Potion. Oof. Double Equilibrium, double Cold Snap. Just barely living that. Kill you. Kill you. All right, and we got our potion back too. A skill potion, as well as an upgraded white noise. Sure, I'll take one last power, or I could take a force field. I'll take one last power. All right, 83 full health going into the heart. We have two potions. One is reserved for our biased cognition. We have Gambling Chip on turn one. We have Buffer and 10 Block on turn one. I think our odds are good here, Twitch chat. And we're going to start with Heat Sinks. Other option is don't use the Ancient Potion to block Biased Cog. Oh, I got Seek turn one. Hold on. Yeah, I'm thinking seek aggregate an echo for him. I could also use the skill potion here to give me more options this turn. Yeah, oh, actually. Give me your energy, Twitch chat. Venom Fox, thanks for 34 months. I'm going to put on emote only mode for this final battle. Send me your prayers, Twitch chat. This one's for all the marbles. And I do mean all of them. Every marble you've ever had. All right, yeah. Aggregate echo form. That means I get to Ancient Potion later. Equilibrium here is a big deal. Caprice, thank you so much for the two gifted subs. All right, I'll stop thanking people. I don't need to do that right now. Can Hologram aggregate? No, I can't. Uh, yes, I can, right? Let's do that again. Set of my deck. Beautiful. Question is, do I buffer the defrag? So extra draw. Nine times three. There's so much coming my way. I don't think I need the buffer anymore. Perfect. Turbo. 
Big hit was first. We're through it. What now? Exactly full block. Perfect. We've doubled the echo form, and then we're basically good to go here. This does take some beat of death, that's fine. Double force field, double capacitor. Although I'd like more energy this turn. Hmm. So hold on, double. This, get back. Equilibrium, build your own runic pyramid. Turbo. Turbo to do equilibrium. Don't play this yet. Do play this now. Not sure if I want to dupe that or not. Let's see what it is. Buffer. Don't want to dupe that. We need to be doing damage too, so I better play the ball lightning, huh? Cool-headed, double capacitor. No, double cold snap, double capacitor. Double chaos. A lot of dark orbs, man. The damage will be good, though. Single big attack. Skill potion time. Let's see what you got. Double rainbow. Yes. Give me some more herbs. I need to do damage. Keep doing damage. Can't do any more than this. Still retaining cards. Okay, double ball lightning this turn. That ball lightning plus on top. We took that ball lightning plus for a reason, Twitch chat. Reason was to kill the heart. All right, now it's a multi attack. I think we're through. I think this has gone beautifully. Don't see a whole lot of trouble coming my way now. Well, well, Twitch chat, that, my friends, is a G freaking G. That is a new world record win streak. Hey there. If you enjoyed that video, watch this one next. And before you go, join us on Twitch and watch live. I'm there five days a week playing Slay the Spire, answering questions, and chilling with the community. Click the link in the description to follow right now. Ta-ta for now.